This morning, a White House tradition going back to the 70s is no more. Tourists are finally allowed to take pictures inside what may be the most memorable part of a visit to Washington. Jan Crawford is at the White House right now to show us the new freedom for visitors. Jan, a lot of happy people this morning. Good morning to you. Well, good morning, Gal. So, you know, I mean, it was the one place, if you were lucky enough uh, to get a tour of the White House on your trip to D.C., that you couldn't show anyone. Well, yesterday, the first tourists got to take out their cameras and their cell phones. And you're right, there was a lot of excitement. First of all, I just turned it on and just start taking pictures, pictures, pictures. <laughs> Selfie, selfies all day. The Lucas family with 10-year-old Cole made the most of being among the first. Then I just went up to the cool statues, start taking pictures by now so I could make my friends feel like, oh, wow, cool, you got to go in the president's house. The family visiting from Houston heard the news just hours before their tour was set to start. Watching CBS this morning, I see Mrs. Obama tear the paper and say that starting today, um, anyone who visits the White House can take pictures. So that was like, seriously, was on the incredible. day I'm touring, we can take pictures I inside? mean, we were elated. Yes. If you've been on a White House tour, you may have seen this sign. Well, not anymore. For the first time in some 40 years, tourists streaming through the White House Wednesday no longer had to try to sneak a quick shot. Taking pictures of the East Room, Blue Room, panoramics of the State Room, and selfies with President Kennedy. The Messer family couldn't stop snapping. It's definitely exciting because you get to be able to remember all that you saw and know how many people have walked through here and what history has been created here. The White House Historical Society tells CBS News the ban was in place for logistical reasons. In the old pre-cell phone days, photography slowed down the tours. Anita McBride was the chief of staff to First Lady Laura Bush and now is executive in residence at American University. The White House is a living, breathing place. It evolves the way society evolves, even to the point of taking pictures a lot more easily than we used to be able to. I want to show you me and Abraham Lincoln. Oh, my God. That's Abraham Lincoln. Honest Abe. <laughs> For the Lucas family, the photographs will make the memories last. It was amazing, you know. Now, they're going to always remember this yeah. for the rest of their lives. And there's another benefit. I think I know what your Christmas card photo is going to be. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Right here at the White House. Especially memories that the, uh, the boys will have for, for years to come. Now, the White House is not going to allow flash photography because of the artwork and the paintings in those rooms. But as you can see, um, with, particularly with Cole's pictures, a cell phone without a flash works pretty well. Nora? Really oh, Jan, nice thank stuff. You. And it's so nice, the Lucas family all dressed up in blue. That is a trip to remember. And they learned about it because they watched CBS this morning in the morning, so they knew they could take pictures. That was my pictures. favorite part of the story. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. Thank you, Jan.